What's up coconuts? I'm Leah and today we are going to be reviewing the Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Lip Long Wear Foundation. There has been so much news about this and lots of drama so let's just go ahead and uh, get the tea out of the way. So first of all, I'm not sure if this is picking up on camera but I'm white and I agonized over what shade to get because I'm a 3.50. 3.50 so I'm I think in the medium plus range um, in the shade range I'm right here 3.50 so there's two and a half full rows of people that are more fair than me okay so <laughs> I'm not only white like I'm pretty fair um, my mom's like a little bit Romanian and then English and Irish my dad was born in Holland I am from Holland isn't that weird? So yeah, so I, I have decently fair skin. I do tan well in the summer, but shoot. Like, did I think that I was going to be in the medium plus range? No. Do I think that this is even possibly too light? Yes. So anyway, I haven't even cracked into this. Um, I haven't even tested the shade or anything. We're going to do that together today on camera. Really, really quickly, the packaging is beautiful. It's nice and sturdy. And then this, I know everybody's seen this, but it's gorgeous. I thought this was glass, but it's plastic and it's like a nice frosted finish. It's it's very nice. And then it has this lock on the back, which I think is awesome. So it's like if you're traveling or anything, you don't have to worry about that. However, with the idea of that and then using this, like, does this have to get cleaned every single time? I, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and try everything all together. This does retail for $52 Canadian, which is a chunk of change in my opinion. And you do get one full ounce, which is really standard for uh, foundation sizes. All right, so just really quickly on the back, full coverage, velveteen finish, moisture boosting hyaluronic acid. Yay, Tati will be so happy. And antioxidant rich white birch extract. All right. Says it's weightless, buildable, can be layered for medium to maximum coverage to address both tone and texture. All right, so let's go ahead and get this on my skin. Here we go. That was a little anticlimactic. <laughs> ah, okay. So careful, it, like squirts all the way down. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous about this color. I tried to compare it to the one that I've been using and loving, which is 300 Sand from Rimmel. So I was like trying to compare like pictures of swatches on arms and oh my goodness, this was so difficult. So, okay. I guess that's not bad. This is the Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna slip this on just for comparison. See, they're so, this one is so yellow. Oh my gosh, I am so nervous about this. Okay. Okay, so it does say like in this whole like little section here so that you can like mix in like mediums and oils and luminizers. So, ah, oh my gosh. Okay, so don't squirt it lying down because it's just going to go back in here. Like it's going back into here. We don't want that. Ew. Oh man, this cost me $52. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that on. I have like this giant blemish here that, you know, I just couldn't leave alone. So we all know how that goes. It doesn't look like enough. So, okay, so we're just going to put it on the skin without anything mixed in. I'm just going to put a little bit of maracuja oil just to prep. I did prep my skin with the Josie Moran uh, Daily Argan Moisturizer with SPF 47. It is going to be 30 degrees Celsius here today in Alberta, or Calgary anyway, uh, which is like, I don't know, 90 or 95. So should be a good day to test this foundation. It is 24 hours wear. I am never gonna wear makeup for 24 hours, but it should last for at least eight hours if it's really hot, right? So I have a dampened beauty sponge. This is not from Beauty Blender. I kind of refuse to spend like $29 or whatever the price is. This I picked up at Winners, which is like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It is from Saint Cosmetics and it was $4.99 and it's awesome. So I just dip my sponge right in there and we're just gonna go for it. So this, it actually picks up quite a bit. Okay, all right. So just while I'm pouncing this on my face, I'm sure everybody has heard, but the owner of the Beauty Blender did reach out and put out a little response to all the backlash. 
and was just addressing the fact that um, they do look different once they go on the skin and that because she herself is of Latina descent, she wanted to address some of the shades that were missing in that range. And like, I get that, that's awesome. Like, this is actually really full coverage. Um, that's awesome, like that's, you know, everybody wants to be included in everything. However, if I'm on the medium plus scale, like, are you kidding me? Okay, so I'm actually not keen at all on the finish. It is freaking heavy and cakey and looks like shit, honestly. Honestly. Cool. Awesome. $52. Cool. Okay, so because I totally don't like that and I want to figure out how this works, mixing in with the luminizer, we're going to do that. Try and put some life in this stupid face. Ugh. So I just did one more pump there and I'm just going to take, I have a little bit of this sample left from Kevin O'Quan, the Celestial Liquid Light Luminizer in the shade Candlelight. Stuff is gorgeous. I did like a try or buy kind of video and I did a wear test and like this was highlighting and beautiful literally for 14 hours. I was like, okay, $62, but I might need to buy it. All right. So I'm just going to like mix this all in here. Just put a little bit of luminizer in there. I don't even want to put any more of this on. It's so heavy. Ugh. Okay. So this is it mixed in. I, this is really handy and nice and actually like the whipped texture of it, it's not like super, super runny. So it's not like going all over the place, which is good. I kind of was like, Ugh, it's going to be all messy, Ugh, but it's not so bad. Oh, I'm not happy with this at all. Guys, this does not look good. Like, it looks a little bit better here now that I've got the luminizer on, but, like, wow. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can, like, zoom this in so you can freaking see it. Don't mind that disgusting pimple. This does not look good. It looks splotchy and crappy. I like, I have to go out after work tonight. I'm going to, uh, actually, a makeup class at Sephora. So I'm really glad I get to look like crap. I'm just gonna try blending it with a brush just to give it like a little bit more of a natural finish. Like it is fully sitting on top of my skin. Like fully, fully. Like, okay. Really? Ah! Barely covered my blemish. Go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna use like a little color correcting uh, palette from BH Cosmetics and just like I'm just going to mix a little uh, green and yellow and see if I can neutralize this, the redness on my... So now I'll kind of see like how other makeup layers on top. Since this is already sitting very high up on top of my skin, my makeup's going to be like out to here by the time I'm done. This was like so hyped up and highly anticipated and then it was like the shade range womps. And people were super upset about it. And it's like, well, based off the claims, this stuff is going to be like magic. So maybe it'll make up for, you know, the shade range crapola. <laughs> it's not. I would not only not recommend this at this point. I don't even want to wear it again. This stuff cost me $52. $52. Are you kidding me? Sorry, I'm just using Too Faced Naturally Radiant Concealer. This stuff is great. It is so uneven. Like, I I just, I can't. Like, I can't. Okay, so I'm just going to, like, take a little makeup wipe and just clean it up. I guess that's good. I don't know. Yeah, that works. Okay, so it's all nice and clean now. That's cool. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and put on some bronzer. I'm just going to do the steps that I would normally do just so I can kind of see how it layers on top of the new foundation. So just taking my TARDIS Pro Glow and the, the cream shade shade. I love this for contour because it is not warm at all. <laughs> there is like zero hint of red or orange tone. It is, it's pretty much straight mud, but I love that because it really, really creates a shadow without adding any like bronziness or redness. Because that I can achieve 
with bronzer if that's what I'm going for, but this just provides like the actual shadows. Okay, so this layered on fairly decently, like it's not lifting or moving or anything, but again, it looked crappy to start with, so it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, and just if you guys are wondering like how to store your beauty blender and let it dry and air out and not be like in an extra cup or an extra egg, use one of these. Use one of these new amazing hair ties everyone's talking about, which please definitely use these for your hair. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Like, I slept in one all night after washing my hair. Where's the kinks? No kinks. Okay, I just like rest this on my, ah! I just rest this on my vanity and it like doesn't take up any extra space. It's not like an extra plastic cup that's gonna be sitting there and like storing any uh, moisture or anything. So that's a really good tip. We're just going to finish up a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna pop this liquid stuff back on here again just to kind of see how the liquid layers with the liquid. Typically powder highlighters kind of go decently well on top of anything, but when you're using like liquid on top of liquid, Sometimes there's like separation or lifting or you're really easily able to move it away. If this is 24 hour coverage, I shouldn't be able to pat it away after like 24 seconds. Okay. This looks so bad. Ah! All right, because we need a little butter bronzer to save the day. Just like smell it, make myself feel better about my life. Just gonna take a little uh, Kat Von D locking powder and just like make it look less crappy that's possible I'm worried like it's gonna settle in and like start to look amazing in like 30 minutes and then I'll be like oh wow the video is a lie this definitely has like a olivey yellow kind of undertone to it so I think like she mentioned there are slight nuances uh, in between the shades. Okay, so Rand Silva, the owner, just part of her little response to the backlash, um, she just said, uh, of our 32 blends, half the shades, so 16 shades, are formulated for a range of olive to dark skin tones and include subtle nuances that make a world of difference on the skin. So that I 100% agree with. Again, I agonized for like 30 minutes over which shade to get because there was like a neutral undertone, a yellow undertone, a warm undertone. There was so much and they did all kind of look the same online but I knew they weren't going to be and a lot of them were pulling red or pulling yellow or pulling orange. There's one that's straight orange. Okay. Um, but this one is definitely pulling a little bit of that like sort of olivey tone. So for somebody that is the same color as me but has a different undertone, this might be really beautiful. I don't know. I don't know. I cannot get over how heavy it is sitting on my... Like I can't. Like I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay, we're gonna put some... <laughs> blush on try and make everything better <laughs> La Milani Luminoso to the rescue I'm like literally gonna have to wash my face before I go to this makeup class tonight they're gonna be like oh good you're here you you need to be here Hey everybody, I decided to do a check-in just because I thought it was worthwhile. Um, things have not really improved like I was hoping for. It's remained like settled in these lines and it's still looking like super thick and cakey on the rest of my face. So again, from far away, it looks really, really nice and really even, but up close, like you know how we live in real life you can really see the makeup on my skin and I am, I'm just not keen. It's 12 o'clock here, just after 12, so makeup's been on for like six hours. So technically I've got 18 hours left of wear here, but I wouldn't do that. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to a makeup class tonight at a Sephora and I'm literally gonna go home, wash my face and put on my $10 Rimmel foundation because I'm literally embarrassed to go out looking like this, especially to a makeup class, especially when working around professionals. So so anyway, just like I said, a really quick check-in just to let you guys know it did not improve. And yeah, just stay tuned here for my final thoughts. I honestly thought that there was gonna be, for me, more drama around the fact that like I'm so far in the shade range and this is not even a great shade for me, but I'm really just hung up on how crappy it looks. Like from back here, I'm like, okay, not bad, it's nice. But up close, like it's already collecting in here. 
I guarantee you it's gonna collect in here and like I can see it on my skin like on top of my skin no no how what what I'm gonna have to keep trying this out but I used it with all my normal products and all my normal tools and uh, uh, uh. well that's it for now see how this goes today thank you so much for watching thank you so much for clicking on this video if you liked it please give it a like if you didn't I'm sorry maybe go check out some of my other videos and please join me in my next one aloha